Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 19th video in VCP8 data center virtualization 2023 and in this video I am going to show you how to create virtual machine template on vCenter uh, vSpare vCenter server 8 or ESXi 8 or uh, also I am going to show you how to create template and how to deploy a virtual machine from a template so it's going to be straightforward so uh, uh, the infrastructure we are using same so why we you need a template so let's say if you want to deploy a virtual machine um, uh, in quantity let's say if you want to deploy 10 virtual machine or 20 virtual machine with the same same operating system same set of setting same set of operate, uh, or software installed on those machines then you need a template so you will not be able to go ahead and replicate all the machine every time uh, you can do it but again it's going to take, uh, take time if you want to install some software if you want to make some configuration and all those so it's going to take a time uh, so you can create a simple template for one virtual machine and then you can deploy a, uh, multiple virtual machines on, from a same template so how you can do it so we are going to uh, check in this environment so I got my operating system uh, installed and some application installed in that virtual machine which we are going to uh, see in this uh, demo so this is the same in, uh, environment which I am going uh, I am using from last some of the videos so I got my domain controller multiple uh, for ESXi host and vCenter so this is what uh, is it so I got my vCenter if you see here uh, so I logged into my vCenter and this is the machine which I created in my last uh, video uh, we install uh, uh, this machine as a brand new virtual machine so if I show you this machine this machine we are using, going to convert in template so if I show you this machine so I got some software installed so what software let's review so I got Chrome install, Java install, Microsoft Edge, Notepad++, Remote Desktop Connection Manager and these are the two other operating system, uh, applications and then I, I have also installed, if I show you, I have installed some features also, so if I go here you will see here .NET 3.5 I have installed, failover cluster installed, just to show you in demo, so I got Windows Defender installed and then I got this uh, uh, basically uh, TFTP client, Telnet client installed on this machine. So this is what I got installed. So let's uh, let's do one more thing. If you want to remove any uh, uh, like you want to remove this Microsoft Defender antivirus. So uh, depending on your requirement, you can configure your virtual machine. Uh, you can install all the software, you can remove any package if you wish, you can um, configure your virtual machine settings like power setting or any other setting, uh, operating system variable or, or uh, software variable. You can configure everything which you need to configure on your template and then you can convert your virtual machine in template. So how you can do that, so I am going to show you again on uh, converting virtual machine in template. So let's is this so you need to shut down this virtual machine before converting to template so i'm going to reboot this machine final time so now you will see this is going to take some time to get the reboot done and then i'm i'm going to run a sysprep so sysprep is one of the critical uh, thing when you run a sysprep the all the uh, identical information for virtual machine or uh, operating system is going to remove so when you when you deploy a virtual machine with the sysprep machines so the virtual machine is going to feel like it's going to boot uh, it's booting first time and it will take all the uh, identical information like guid or ssid everything is going to be generated brand new so you must need to run a sysprep so i'm going to show you how to run sysprep also so let's wait for machine to come online so here we got we got login screen so so the operating system configuration software installation i have done so now to run a sysprep you need to go in c drive basically windows folder so 
I'm going and let's change this disk name also. So I'm going to make it OS disk. And I'm going in Windows System 32. And then we have sysprep. So I'm going to open sysprep. And then we got this sysprep.exe file. We need to run it. So now I'm going to <coughs> put this uh, out of box experience and then shut down and uh, tick mark this generalize button. So now this will run the sysprep and uh, enter enter system in uh, OBB mode, out of box experience mode and generalize the machine and it going to shut down your virtual machine. So pause this, you are good to go, uh, good to go and convert this virtual machine as a template. So this is the one of the thing which you need to run sysprep need to be run post the uh, once you are done with the configuration of the operating system or virtual machine so i'll wait for some time this is going to take one maximum one or two minute i guess to finish the sysprep and then once the sysprep is done it will shut down the virtual machine also so we need to wait for some time So sysprep is done now machine is getting shut down so now you can see the machine is powered up so now what i'm going to do if i show you here you'll see machine is now powered up so i'm going to clone basically convert this machine if i go to template and then convert uh, uh, to template so just go ahead and click yes so now you will see here virtual machine is no more visible here so if you go to virtual machine and uh, this folder you will see here the template is there so you make sure once you converted virtual machine you need to come here uh, then you will only be able to see the template so i'm going to create one folder let's say a new folder and vmn template so i'm going to call it like master VMs or something depending on whatever you want to wish you can put I'm going to put this machine here now this uh, template is ready so let's say now I'll go ahead and shut down these machines okay so shut down the virtual machine are running not running anything so I'll go ahead and shut down so done now I'll go ahead and deploy virtual machine from this template so I can right click here and a new virtual uh, VM from this template either you can go here uh, basically anywhere and you can create a new virtual machine and then deploy from template if you select this deploy from template you will see here if you have a template so content in content library I don't have template but if I go here data center you will see I have a template so click next and now it will ask you the machine name so I'm going to call it win 2k 1222 master 1 and click next and now I will select my cluster so click next and then the data store I need to select click next and if you wish to customize the operating system or hardware you can customize but i don't don't want to go and customize just select power on virtual machine after creation so it will power on the virtual machine post creation so click on finish now you will see it's going to clone the virtual machine first so you will see here apply data uh, storage drs is running so basically it's uh, it's doing the copy for virtual machines file so you will see here master one is created now so once the uh, virtual machine is cloned, uh, it's going to power on the virtual machine since we selected power on post creation. So it's going to take some time and once the virtual machine creation is done, it's going to power on the virtual machine. So let's wait for some time once the virtual machine cloned is re uh, copy is ready, then it will power on the virtual machine. So I'm going to pause the recording here. Once the clone is uh, machine is ready, I will resume from there. So now you will see here <coughs> the creation of virtual machine is done and also machine is booted now if you 
click here now you will see you don't need to install the operating system operating system is already installed and it's asking for a few details so after resetting the password you are done so now if you log in since we have deployed uh, this virtual machine through template which we have created uh, just <coughs> starting up this video so you will see here the all the all the details all the operate uh, like up applications and the features whatever we have installed it's there so if I click here go to control panel and add or remove you will see all the application software is installed pre-installed so this is good if you see the features also feature must be also installed so if i click next you will see failover cluster is installed .NET 3.5 is installed and you will see tftp client telnet client everything is installed so this is good <clears throat> this is how you can create and deploy a virtual machine by using the templates <clears throat> in uh, windows spare so so simple thing if you want to create a template just install operating system make the hardware configuration as your uh, <clears throat> desired configuration um, and then install the operating system on top of uh, operating system configure whatever um, settings you want to configure for virtual machine and then install all your softwares install all your role and features if you want and then uh, finally run your sysprep and shut down your virtual machine and then convert that virtual machine as a template so this is all what you have to do to create a virtual machine from templates so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post my given mail address thank you once again bye bye